Oh yeah. Hello everybody, what is up? It's MV Perry and today we're doing a really interesting video about have you ever had a crush on a fictional character? 61% of you said yes, 20% of you said no, 13% only had a crush when they were young, and 6% of you are down bad for the waifus right now. Question is, who are these characters? We're gonna go to the comment section because you guys all commented for a chance to be in a video. Who are these characters? I'll be rating them based on how, like, if I think this is a good crush or if I think it's like, what? Are you kidding me? Why would you have a crush on this character? I got a thing for Shigo. She just has this seductive vibe to her and it's really hard not to avoid that. Ugh. I mean, you know, it's understandable. Like, I can, I can literally understand this. Eight out of 10. Itachi Uchiha's forever in almost everyone's heart. Hey, Itachi, like, I understand, man. I mean, 10 out of 10. Itachi is awesome. Everything someone could like about Sasuke, Itachi does better. I've had and still have a lot of crushes on animated characters. Well, I'm guessing Sonic or Amy, right? Prince Zuko still has a chokehold on me to this day. I mean, what other options do you have? You have Aang and you have Sokka as like the other options. It's kind of understandable. Like who else are you gonna simp for? It was a major glow up when he got hair. Like what is this? Anyone else love animated villains? They have the best character designs. Sometimes villains are the best. Like you have to admit that. It was and always will be Kakashi Hatake from Naruto. I admired his mysteriousness and strong dedication to protecting his fellow comrades. I'm giving this one another 10 out of 10. I mean like Kakashi's awesome, you know? It wouldn't be a stretch to say I was down pretty bad for Miss Incredible. Uh, wait, what? Huh? What? Okay, I mean, like, it's a little awkward because she's a mom, and it's like, what? Like, she's, she's a mom! But you will find that it's pretty common these days, especially with the way the internet works. It's gonna be a 4 out of 10 for me, but like, I get it, okay? Like, it's not like she's not attractive, it's just, I can't do the mom thing. I don't think there's a series I've been into yet where I haven't had a crush on at least one character. <laughs> there's like different types of people out here. There's people who are like, I could never understand liking a character from a fictional show, and then there's like, every single show there is, I like one character from. I remember when I was 9 or so, my friend asked me who my crush was, I said Sasuke Uchiha. Sasuke was not my first fictional crush, but also my first crush ever. Look at this guy. This guy's so mean. You were simping, you were simping for this dude? This is a 6 out of 10 for me. I've had many throughout my childhood, but the one that stood out to me most was Princess Jasmine from Aladdin. Princess Jasmine is one of the cooler princesses. 8 out of 10. I went through some phases, but the first character that comes to mind when I say childhood crush is Peter Pan. Peter Pan? What? This dude right here? Look at his ears. It's like a budget Link. Actually, he was before Link, so Link is budget Peter, Peter Pan. This is a this is a five out of ten for me, but like it's it's cool that you liked Peter Pan. Like I just he just seems so childish to me. Kyo from Fruits Basket was my first love, and I still get flustered when he was on screen. This guy's kind of annoying, to be honest. Like I've seen Fruits Basket, he's a little bit annoying. So this is gonna be like a five out of ten for me. Okay, guys, we're getting into the furry zone. This is the furry zone. I've had a lot, and I'm not really afraid to say it. Vixen from Fox and Hound always has a place in my heart. Fox and the Hound? I'm in insulting it right now, but I'm not gonna lie, like, I can kind of understand, you know, I can kind of understand this one. I mean, I, I might be a furry, you know, 7 out of 10. It's funny though, because, like, we're making light of it, but Fox and the Hound is so sad. It is such a sad movie. I wouldn't say I had a crush on this character, but I really liked Freddy Fazbear. Look at those teeth. Look at these eyes. 10 out of 10. Despite having a GF right now, my Sakurajima is still holding a place in my heart. Despite having a GF right now, personality-wise, like, I actually really do not like her personality. Like, that's cool for you. I could not like this girl. I would say 7 out of 10. Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender probably says a lot about me. I understand. I don't know why, but Avatar, I think for a lot of people, like, there's a lot of people who had crushes on the Avatar characters. I never finished a series. I was saving the last episodes and then Netflix took it off. I was like 10 at the time. I've had more crushes on fictional characters like people in Harry Potter and stuff, but also anime characters that I've had in real life. Sometimes the anime and Harry Potter world is just a better place, you know? Sometimes you just gotta go for Ron. Probably one of my earliest crushes was Link from The Legend of Zelda. And surprisingly, he has withstood the test of time and remains one of my crushes to this day. Link is a man of few words. Like, you know, Link is cool. I like Link. Eight out of 10. Also, cause it's just like my favorite video game. Pokemon N was definitely a game character I majorly simped over, not gonna lie. He's got a freaking Rubik's Cube on a keychain that doesn't even connect actually, it's just floating. 7 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, DDLC was pretty influential to me back then and now 5 years later it still is. All the DDLC girls are cool, like I get liking all of them. So this guy likes Yuri. He's like, ah, I'm okay. I'm always gonna be a Natsuki fan, but hey. Everybody loves Kakashi. I don't think it's a crush. It's true love. It's Psyche K and it's coffee jello. No wonder I'm so hot. People always have a crush on Psyche K. Basically, have a crush on me. It's like, hey, what's up? What's up? Honestly, I love Rosalina. If I could marry any character from a video game, I'd choose her. To be fair, of the Mario princesses, I feel like Rosalina is the best of them. We're giving this one a 9 out of 10. Was honest to God in love with Sonic the Hedgehog for a really long time. Still am. You love this? Nah, you love this. Sonic, the actual OG Sonic. You're too slow. 8 out of 10. 
I've never had a crush on a character until recently. Freaking Kirby is the most wholesome and adorable character. I die just by looking at how cute he is. Kirby, what? You have a crush on this thing? I love Kirby as like a cute little mascot character. Like I think he's cute, but not like that. I'd say like 10 out of 10 for being cute. But actually being attracted to Kirby, I would, I'd give him like a 2 or 1 out of 10 because like I just don't see it. My childhood crush was easily Draco Malfoy. Honestly, my sister used to have a crush on him too. Look, it's Eminem! 7 out of 10 crush since my sister had the same thing. Back when I was a kid, I used to watch the movie Rise of the Guardians and I had a crush on Jack Frost. Now I have a crush on Genshin Boys and they're still fictional characters. People used to always ship Jack Frost from Rise of the Guardians, this guy, and Elsa because they're both like ice users. It's so funny. 8 out of 10. The first I ever remembered was Princess Daisy from the Mario series. She was more independent than Peach, which made her stick out to me more. Daisy, like, bro, you're trying to steal Luigi's girl? I actually somehow forgot Daisy existed. Like, I was remembering Rosalina and Peach, but then Daisy just, it's like she didn't exist anymore. 10 out of 10. I had my first fictional character crush in my early tween teen years, and at one point I just started having a small crush on Ganon slash Ganondorf. Ganondorf from Ocarina of Time, I can kind of understand. Like, he's like super buff, but also kind of cool. But like, Ganon from, uh, from Twilight Princess, he just looks too old and fat. Also, Ganon from Wind Waker, like, this dude is so fat. What even is this? Like, I never thought anyone would have a crush on Ganon. I'm giving this one a 9 out of 10. I actually used to have a crush on Saria from Zelda Ocarina of Time. Dude, you are not alone. Me and you, brother. I was so sad when Link left the village, and I was like, dude, you have to go back for her. You're, you're not gonna go with Zelda, go back for Saria. Batman. Any version, live action, animated, video game, anything. Hey, Batman's a 10 out of 10, okay? I mean, I don't care what you say. Batman is a 10 out of 10. I'm currently crushing on Dr. Schultz from Django. Hey, I love Dr. Schultz too, but like... <laughs> This dude is old! Tifa from Final Fantasy VII, yes, the first one. Hey, Tifa or Aerith, both 10 out of 10s. Like, pretty much everyone who played Final Fantasy VII was like, having to choose between these two girls. Of course, they didn't look like this in the original game. This is the HD remake. They actually looked like this, which is, uh, it's interesting, but definitely not very attractive. They're like Roblox. It's basically Roblox characters. 10 out of 10 though, because like, respect to Final Fantasy fans. I had a crush on the Wii Sport narrator, because he was the first guy to compliment me, school emoji. The Wii sports narrator we're getting some answers here that i did not expect like i was that was like the last thing i was gonna think i was gonna hear but like we sports narrator okay i kind of get it he's like nice score 10 out of 10 just because of nostalgia and also the uniqueness of that answer i'm like what as a kid i loved the animated spider-man but not peter parker just spider-man once he took off the mask i was done well wow. <laughs> that's funny like he's just not cool anymore when he takes off the mask you only like him with the mask on it's kind of understandable though. like actually he does look a lot cool with his outfit like 8 out of 10 the Grinch I've always been in love with him I don't care what you say this is a 10 out of 10 right here guys 10 out of 10 crush like I get it look at this dude look at his smile okay everybody that is enough uh, childhood crushes for today I, I was actually very surprised by some of these answers huge thanks to everybody who commented and if you want to comment on polls like this in the future to be in a video all you got to do is go to MV Perry my channel then go to the community tab and in the community tab you just scroll down and you'll see all these glorious polls as always thank you so much for watching my name is MV Perry, and I'll see you in the next video.